Youngwood, welcome to the Kona Odyssey, your stopping ground. Uh, how's the lead up been for you? Yeah, it's been uh, been good, short, but um, I think uh, definitely quality. Um, I've been putting in uh, some hard yards and you know, we're a week out from Nationals, so the form should be here and um, it's, uh, it'll be good, interesting to see where it's, where it's at today, you know, four hours, four and a half, five hours of pretty uh, hard riding, so I'll get a good gauge of where I'm at after this, this event, so. Yeah, there's a lot of expectation given that every time you've raced this event, you've won, uh, and you're now looking for a back-to-back -back as well, and that's win number four if you can get it. Mm. Uh, the guy in the microphone sort of predicted eight minutes uh, that you take eight up to the top and then you'd hold off that eight minutes what are your thoughts on that kind of prediction oh that's uh yeah that's some pressure but uh i don't i don't know about uh, up the climb um i guess uh yeah got some good guys like uh lachlan norris i mean he's yeah, had some super form on the road and uh yeah he's he's good at uh, getting up the climbs really well so I don't think I'm going to shake the guys up the climb but um, definitely uh, towards the middle section of the, of the race it starts getting a bit more technical and you know physically demanding and hopefully I can shake the guys there and yeah um, I don't know I think it's going to be a really good conditions out here um, it's going to be super fast I did a bit of the course like yesterday and it's holding up really well we haven't had too much rain overnight so that's that's perfect conditions when you're sticking with the guys up the hill, so there's a group of you, I mean, do you, do you guys ever work in together to sort of fend off a couple of others? What are the sort of team strategies as such until you get up to the top? Yeah, well, like, uh, you know, for example, last year it was uh, myself, Ben and uh, Lachlan, um, and we sort of got over, over the top together, and then once a, a small group will form, then we'll work together and try and keep that group together as long as possible, and then towards the end of the race, you're all, you're all looking at each other, getting twitchy and thinking, oh, well, now's the time to to shake the other guys so you work together and until it's you know I guess the defining moment and, and then you got to start thinking of uh, you know I'm here to win and try and uh, shake the other guys and now there's a hill a little pinch at the very end uh, you know once you got the top now you walked it last year and yeah. everyone else does as well Did yeah. you can have a crack at riding it this year yeah definitely um, I thought about that last night we were talking about sledgehammer and um, thinking far out that thing is uh, I've never I've never actually ridden it like one year they graded it and then the I think the first year it was too too uh, muddy then the second year they graded and then the third year it was uh, it was wet again so I reckon this year is probably if they haven't graded it then I think it'll be fine now we're just talking off camera that, that your immediate preparation into this race has been a little bit better than last year tell me about that <laughs> yeah well my guts is feeling a lot better than last year I remember just eating way too much and getting a bit carried away with the carbs in the morning so this morning I, I laid out you know just enough for two pancakes and uh, I got that through and I feel a lot better so hopefully Wild Dog Road's not going to be as painful. And now you do have the titles in uh, you know, a week's time, how does, how does a race like this affect you know, your tilt at the titles? Um, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, last year I had a, a, a bigger preparation um, leading into last, into the Nationals, so this event was sort of, um, yeah, the one one last hit out before the Nationals, whereas this year it's I've left it a lot later and um, this is probably going to help me sort of, you know, overcome probably my, yeah, my uh, own mental you know, awareness of where I'm, where I'm at, I guess, so... Um, I'm not sure what what form I've got, so this would be just, you know, setting in stone where I'm at and how how good I'm going. Because, yeah, national series uh, was it a couple of weeks ago didn't go so well. So this is just an, an like icing on the cake, just another hard day at the office. All right, and speaking of the office, uh, you've got a, a new kid out there. Can you tell me about the new team? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, you're not going to miss me out there, uh, Milka Superior. So. Um, yeah, uh, Bart Renshins, um Yeah, he's. I've been. I went. I was with him for a couple of years. Um, 08 and 09, and then um, yeah, back uh, yeah, 2011, and then 2012. So they've changed the team up. Uh, gotten some new support from Superior, and uh, Milk is back on back on board. Just got to stay away from those Milk bars. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's good. And is this part of you know more of your racing in Europe with you know the leading to the Olympics, etc.? Is this part of that strategy? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, Milk and Superior's their main focus is. Uh, yeah, cross country racing. So um, yeah, there's a couple of other events like the Cape Epic that we'll do as well. So that's a, that's a good one to do as you know for the team aspect. Um, Bart's more you know for marathon. So I think we've got a, a, a good uh, a good group this year. We've got a couple of uh, newcomers like Annie Best. She's a, a top under 23 uh, national. Uh, 
under 23 uh, World Cup rider. Um, yeah, we've got uh, Marek Conwa, he's second in the world, so we've got a couple of good guys, and it's good to have that atmosphere around me as well, you know, you're always looking to the guys that are at a, a probably a yeah, more top level and sort of keeps me searching for a better form. And finally, uh, the Olympics are bearing down on us. What's the path between here and there and your thoughts on, uh, you know, making a team and uh, making impact at, in London? Um, yeah, well, yeah, after uh, Canberra, it was, um, yeah, I think um, a bit of a reality check and seeing how the other guys are going. It's the first time I've seen the guys, so um, it's going to be a tough year. Everyone's, there's, you're not going to leave anything out there. You know, everyone's putting, you know, doing the last, uh, you know, the one percenters, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's, it's going to be in the back of my mind, and I guess that's going to get the best out of the Australian guys. I, I think the Australian guys are really... Um, yeah, they're going to be in good shape this year. What's the timing for selection? Like, when is the team finalised? Um, I the first world, uh, no, the Oceanas will be the first selection race. Then it will be um, first World Cup. Uh, I think it wraps up after. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, there's Czech Republic, and then there's the next World Cup. So it's May. I think it's May sometime. So there's a break between May and July, so in between that, so it'll be after May. All right, well, good luck for that, and uh, more importantly, and uh, you know, more pertinently, good luck for the Kona out there today, and uh, he's hoping to another win. No worries, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. No worries. Awesome.